Hello everyone, welcome back to Ayaz Tech. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to extract an ID from URL in Angular 17. This is a common task when working with routes in Angular applications. So let's dive right in. First ensure you have Angular 17 installed. If not, you can install it using the Angular CLI with this command. Once you have your Angular project set up, let's create a new component. We can call it item detail. So I'm using VS code in the root directory of my project. I will run this command ng generate component item dash detail. Press enter. Okay, the component has been generated. And next, let's set up a routing. Open the app.routes file and let's define the route that includes an ID parameter. Okay, so here I will pass an object path item slash ID and here we will specify the component that we want to load component name would be item detail component okay okay once that is done make sure in the app.component.html you have the router outlet added otherwise that component would not be loaded okay so here let me add a list of the items i will just add an id just for the example and here i will add multiple items so this is a first anchor tag in this ul we will have multiple just to demonstrate so you will see that every link has a unique id in the url so whenever we will click on this uh, these links it will load that route and that component that we just generated will be loaded okay if you open the website you will notice that these are not clickable yet the reason is that uh, the this router link directive is not currently working the reason is that we did not import the router module in the app.component as we are using standalone component so we can directly import the router module in the app component import array and now you will notice that all of these links are clickable and let's click on any of these link i have clicked on the item 3 and you will notice that the content of that component has been loaded let me fix the alignment so i have added the flex so i just remove that now it is fine so these are the list if you click on any of the item that item would be loaded <coughs> currently it is just loading a static text now let's fetch the id from the url in our item detail component so let's go back to the item detail dot component dot ts so first we will import the activated route from the angular slash core so here i will add so let's add it import activated route from angular slash core now we need to inject the activated route service in our component for that i will use the inject function make sure to import the inject function from angular slash core and if you are using vs code and you are getting suggestions in this way so if you just click on this or press enter it will automatically import it for you in the imports section and you just need to specify the class name that you want to inject i want to inject the activated route all right now i need to define another property id that uh, the type of the id would be string and or it can be null as well by default i will give assign it the null value okay now i will also implement ng implement on init so let's add the ng on init function here i will use the id property and assign the id from the url to it so for that i will use this dot route dot snapshot dot param map get id okay so in this code we use activated route to access the param map and get the id parameter from the url now to display the id we can update the template file item dash detail dot component dot html so here i will simply add item id is equal to id save it now you can see the id is being printed and that is coming from the url so if i click on any other link that id would be displayed here but there is one issue that if you click on a different link the id would not be printed immediately you have to reload the page so like if i click on the second item the url is the the id in the url is 2 now but 
in the component it is still showing the one so i have to reload it actually this is a line that updates the id and that id uh, shows on the comp html component and this logic is executed only once when the component is initialized for the first time so when you click on a different url at that time the component was already initialized so that's mean it this line will never re-execute so that's why we may have to update our logic so instead of this i can use another approach so that approach is that use this dot route params map dot subscribe and we will pass it a callback function so basically the param map gives us a rxjs observable that we can subscribe to so whenever the id changes in the or whenever the parameters change in the url it will immediately execute uh, this callback function we will take the parameter from the callback function so let me show you alert to show you what we have in this parameter then we will use it to add in our id so you can see in that parameter we have an object with the property params and that has further an object so let's access that to access the id you can use dot get function and pass it the name of the property that you want to access okay now you can see we got the id directly so now instead of using this line i can use the latest approach so here I will use params.getID and assign that value to the ID property. Now let's test it quickly. So if you click on any link, it will update the ID in the real time in that component. In the real world project, you will not be just displaying the ID in the HTML. You will actually be running another function or logic that will be hitting the backend server to get the relevant data based on this ID and there you have it you have successfully extracted an id from a url in angular 17 if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for more tutorials also you can visit this ayastack.com blog where i keep posted written versions of these tutorials so you can visit it and you can read the articles if you want to thanks for watching and see you in the next video